Good morning. Happy Thursday. I hope you slept well. Hope you had a great yesterday. Hope you're ready for a great today. <sighs> slept in a little on Mondays and Thursdays. It's not necessarily a big thing for me to need to get up super early. Um, still woke up at six originally, and then you know, obviously went back to sleep. But. <clears throat> something I'm breaking everything in the care room. Um, so the fun story from me yesterday apparently I was just glutton for punishment um, I had a really good night last night and I was just feeling good about myself so messing around and downloaded dating apps again first mistake second mistake was I matched with two different females and they uh, went on talking for a little bit and then they just kind of led it on into adding them on snapchat and then they know each other lo and behold so they just start Berating and talking shit about me for trying to talk to two women at once. Apparently, I didn't catch the. I didn't catch the memo on that one. Apparently, it's only okay for women to do that. I hope that I'm just the only one who didn't catch that memo because that sounds like it'd be extremely inconvenient. But yeah, today is Tina's Thursday. It's gonna be a great day. Hoping those lenses come in, continuing to make the list for a hundred day, a hundred places in a hundred days. Because I would definitely like to kick that off very soon. Trying to lean a little bit more towards the, uh, I guess, economically efficient ways to go, but still, it's not gonna hurt a little bit. It's not gonna hurt to to go in and spend a little on on a new place and a new experience. But now. It is time to get the morning routine done and then get the workout done. Get to polish off the ETR Isaac's Mango Mark today. So that'll be fun because today is upper day. Make sure to do that on every Thursday because you know what the TNS where it does increase sex appeal, but you know what increases sex appeal? You. Well, I have pretty much wasted all of my, you know, fluff time to get to the gym and get a workout. So I'm going to have to blow through this workout, you know, pretty much just get an ex get, becoming an expert at finding new and more efficient ways to just do everything a lot and a lot and a lot quicker. But it's a beautiful day. So that's a that's a big plug. What's up, man? So that's a plus. <sighs> yeah. This trial and error process has claimed another victim. Oh, there goes one of my favorite freaking cups. Okay. Well, <laughs> workout complete. <laughs> the, uh, the trial and error process for finding the, the best setup for myself uh it's it's back and forth it's going in several different ways um thanks to uh, thanks to a lot of different reasons that might be a little bit better <laughs> uh, so another victim has been claimed something that was very near and dear to me and precious we will rebuild now i gotta get home shower all that good stuff real quick fast and in a hurry <sighs> i love you it's gonna be a great day and i am back using the joby's just like the grip itself to hold the the camera and the mic really because um it's it's a little cumbersome i love that other that other mount that other piece um 
but having to put the, the light back and forth on there, it does get, it's difficult. But once, if ever, that stinking light gets here, then it'll be a lot easier. And I'll definitely go back to the other one. I really like that one. It's really simple, compact, and it, it still has like more than enough the features that I want on it. Also, I had to find like a, a little cold shoe mount piece for the bottom so that I can clip tripods onto it, or at least the um the little tripod clamp whatever piece on this one. But also to be honest with you, once the Polar Pro uh case gets here. I uh, seeing how this one is set up I'm definitely heavily considering just using that uh it has a little little grip piece that you can slide onto it or clamp onto it however you want to say um and then it has a built-in cold shoe piece it has a shutter piece that you uh that is is with it that you can attach to it and it's obviously the way that the case is built with that will just work very well and it all it comes similar to like the the joby little whatever this is called clamp comes with a core 20 piece on the bottom that you can you know put tripods on and i'm a big fan of this little piece that comes on the the joby tripods some of them at least and you can screw it into it and you can just you know clip it on and off of the tripod so that's really quick and quick and I'm a big fan of those type of things. Know that no, none of you really, really care. It's just really what's on the line at the moment. Now, <sighs> we'll be starting most likely the 100 days of Spartanburg, either tonight. I'm going to go check out a place called Broncos, which is a new place in Bronco in <laughs> Spartanburg. Uh, may or may not. I'm going to see how I feel about that one once I get there. Uh, part of me has been like putting it off, starting that. Just because I'm like, I want to wait for the, the filters and stuff like that so I can start off on like a trail or, or something to give myself a little bit more time to, to introduce or find things to record. Different, different little excuses that I keep making or throwing in there. That's something that I want to do. But then there's that other part similar to, to everything else. is like, just go ahead and get started. Start on the first day and then start on the second day and keep it rolling. I don't want to procrastinate on it so much that I, I just don't do it because I feel like it's going to be a really good thing for, for both content, for allowing me to, to get out of the shell, find new places and just, and just keep going, keep moving. So that's the, the current thought that I'm sticking with and wrestling with, I guess I would say right now. We'll see. Okay, we are done with work. Everything is closed up, wrapped up. Struggling right now to handle everything as far as all the shit that's in my hands did it rain while i was inside probably feels like it's drizzling a little bit right now getting ready to go i'm gonna set you down real quick getting ready to go to a restaurant named broncos apparently it's really new uh google barely even knew of it so there's that um i'm still kind of debating on whether or not i want to want to start that um 100 days of 100 places or 100 days of Spartanburg, I guess, would be a, a catchier name. Really? <sighs> so, let's go. Definitely need some food because I'm fucking starving. But we're about to get into it. And so, I finally made it back home. Broncos ended up being kind of a bust because he didn't serve liquor or any alcohol for that matter it just opened so they were still in the process of getting a liquor license so it's kind of a bust and was kind of a look kind of a necessary need so that fell through ended up going to willie taco had a great time but willie tacos is expensive so I ended up blowing through <laughs> blowing through a uh, a good amount, unfortunately. But it's like that. I'm trying to get to know people and trying to understand people and just generally having a good time with people is, you know, that happens. 
So I'm not going to sweat it too much. I still have more than enough to uh, to take care of everything I need to take care of. Yeah. So good night. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.